Okay, welcome to the Chow World Places for Planet Shadow. Um, I didn't record this, Cloud did, so uh, he's going to be doing most of the talking for this video, so go ahead and say what you wanted to say. I don't remember what I wanted to say. Okay, so this is Chow World. I'm going into Shadow because I'm going to be doing something at Sonic later on. So, I kind of have a weird little graphical problem going on with the capture card. It's like doing lines or whatever, but... I don't know what that was. There's just like this thing. So I'm just following it. Like, what the fuck's going on? But I'm going to show you guys what Chow I have, which I don't really have a lot because I kind of deleted my Chow Garden before. But I do have one super OP Chow that you're going to get to see race and kick a bunch of ass in the karate. Because there's two things you can do with the racing the karate for the Chows in this game. I did. Which. I did. Yeah. You got huh? all the background noise. Background noise? Where? Never mind. So this is KJHD53, the Super Chow. Yeah. Level 90, 94 for three of his stats, 93 for another, and 92 for the last one. That's not 99. Uh, the reason the reason why I'm not recording the bonus video is because Cloud has better Chow than I do, and he has all of the A ranks in every stage, so... I don't. Alright, so you can do a bunch of different levels of races, a bunch of different, like, courses. You're expected to do all of them in order to get five emblems. There's five emblems tied to the races and four emblems tied to the karate. In order to get all the emblems, you have to do Chow World. One of these things is not like the other. Is it me? Alright, so when you do the Chow races, you're supposed <clears throat> to watch your Chow run, but there's also a stamina bar, and if you press the A button, you'll give it a turbo boot, a little boost, and you can keep doing this until they run out, and since this chow is like so amazing. Look at how fast he's going. Is it because he's black? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey now. Hey now. Settle down. The sun is black. Secret out. Landon, were you born in Kenya? Maybe. Kenya! But yeah, I, ba I basically used, um... A combination of Landon and a couple other Chow that I was raising before I deleted my Chow Garden in order to get all the emblems. Uh, Landon kind of, well, KJHD53 Super Chow ended up cleaning up whatever I left behind when I deleted all my other Chow. Um, I'm not sure if I show off the glitch in this in the Chow Garden or not, but um, so when you're taking care of your Chow, you can pick them up, move them around. It's probably not a good idea to pick them up when they're sleeping. Just saying. I don't like that. Unless they All right. you. Um, you can check their stats when you pick them up. They also can be given little animals. You can give them, although I don't actually give any of them. For some reason, there's a bunny swimming in the water. You can also give them these uh, chaos drives, which you can get from the gun robots. Uh, animals you can get in stages, too. You can also give them a bunch of other stuff, but we're going to go back in and chill off the chow karate real quick. Yeah. If, you're um, feeling, if you're feeling really anal about the way their appearance changes... If you know what colors do what, you can essentially just raise them on Chaos Drive. Or you can do what I do, and mostly just... I used to just throw them Chow Fruit, because uh, I'll get to that later. But um, you can do that, or you can also do what I'm doing now, which is just not giving a fuck what they look like. So, this is gonna, this is gonna end really fast. Chow Karate. Kick. Yep. The only thing I regret is that he didn't knock him completely out of the ring. You know, if he's so OP, how comes you're not having him fight like the hardest matches ever? Because I just wanted to show off what this is real quick. I didn't want to, like, take too much time because I'm just showing off this to show, like, the gist of what you get to do. Although, if you want to, if you want a better idea of what you're really getting when you play this, it's more like just two chow kind of going at it for a few minutes, just kind of like yeah. light punches. You can't... Um, the, the <laughs> that zeal that zeal meter, by the way, um, if it runs out, you have to root them on by rapidly hitting the A button because they just they lose their motivation if their zeal meter runs zeal? out. Zeal, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> zeal is pretty much the fucks given meter. <laughs> And when the when that meter runs out, they stop giving fucks. Um, um, since I know you I stop after this one, uh, yeah, I was going to mention that uh, the the different the way to get animals and chaos drives in uh, the levels 
is like Cloud said, you get chaos drives from gun robots, but you get um, animals from Eggman robots, like uh, in the classic oh. games. Yeah. Or you can just find, kind of yeah. find them roaming around the, in the levels. You mean ba- so I'm going back in because I'm going to show off um, when... Hold that thought, Dustin. When you manage to get a child, because when you raise the child, they start off as a baby. And um, they have a first evolution, a second evolution, which the second evolution is kind of like a gradual one. But when they do their first evolution, which is like a sudden change, um, if you're taking care of them from the hero side, then they'll become a good child. <laughs> oh, from shit. The, from the dark side, they'll become a bad, uh, a dark child. And if you are, like, taking care of them kind of, like, neutrally, they'll become a neutral child. And whatever their best stat is, is what their second, like, major factor in what kind of child they'll become. Um, Look at me. And, yeah, that, that, that poor thing's been starving. But um, when you have a hero chow after the first evolution, you unlock this one. And then when you get a dark chow from the first evolution, you unlock the dark chow garden, which is probably one of the coolest fucking things in this game, oh, actually. Dear. So we're going to go down uh, here. There, yeah, Justin, calm down. Right, I, I know there's blood involved. Creepy-ass blood dark cool. art. It also looks like Kool-Aid, but yeah. Or Fruit Punch. You can stand in some cage just... standing from the tree, if you didn't know. Yeah. In the Dreamcast version, you could die in that water. Also, you if you go... Yeah. If you, yeah. Well. If you go... Yeah, if you go into... It's a glitch. If you go into a Chow Garden and it's empty, um, you'll have an egg there waiting... Which, if you rub it like I did, it'll hatch really quickly into a new baby chow. No, rub. Actually, uh, it's not a glitch. The water is just higher. Hmm. Oh. This, I have to check the uh, I have The Dreamcast drink. version, this area is actually bigger. Yeah, alright, so this thing right here, I'm just showing it off real quick. You can. It, it's not really u- very useful if you're doing the GameCube version because the connections are really like complicated to do it but if you were using the Dreamcast version you had like a VMU which was a video memory card unit and you could put your chow onto that, you could do extra stuff in the mini chow garden, um, place that with like a Game Boy Advance hookup for your Game Boy Advance Sonic Advance games uh, this is the black market, this is like the chow kindergarten, you can do a bunch of stuff that's black market, that sells a bunch of stuff the chow fruit that was in there raises all stats evenly when they eat it so it's like, you can abuse that this is the classroom, they can like do extra they can learn how to do extra stuff, if they do they can uh They'll like start doing that stuff when they're in the chow garden. You'll get to see that. That's the principal's office. He just kind of gives you tips on raising your child. It's nothing really special. You don't really need to know about that. It doesn't really give you any information that you really need. This is the healthcare center. If you bring a chow here, you'll be able to get, to get to see their stats. And then this is the fortune telling house, which you get to name your chow. The, fair, the chow will first like be like, hey, you want to give it this name? And you'll be like, no. And then they'll be like, well, how about this name? And then you'll be like, no. And then they'll be like, okay, how about you put in your own name? And then I'll be like, thanks. And put in your own name. Holy shit, Cloud, you're talking like a mile a minute. Maybe you should have spent uh, was, a bit more time in the kindergarten so you could talk a bit slower. <laughs> I was trying to get it all out. But yeah, um, once you get all the emblems there, let me show up. What do I show off next? Okay, so I'm going to show off the... Um, if you go into the extra, you can check your emblem list. Emblems you can get emblems for doing all the different missions, and then you get an extra mission, an emblem for getting all A ranks. Uh, same for Dark Side Story. And then you can get that one for the last story. And then there's Chow Race, Chow Karate. There's also three for the cart race, and three for doing, like, there's a boss rush for Dark Hero, and then the last story. You can get emblems for that. So you basically have to do everything that you can in single player to get emblems. And when you get all 180 emblems, you unlock... Oh wait, am I going in? Am I really going back in? Okay, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Alright, so when you get 180 emblems, you'll come unlock this beautiful stage. Looks kind of funny to me, honestly. Um... The audio is a lot quieter for whatever reason. I was going to say, my audio kind of disappeared. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It's like a lot lower for whatever reason. But, um... Yeah, I'll... Whatever. So this is Green Hill Zone. This is your little bonus for getting all 180 emblems. It's not particularly worth getting all 180 emblems for, but if you do manage to do it, just like, say you're bored and you just love Sonic Adventure 2 so much that you decide to do everything in the game, you get a nice little bonus in the form of 
this level, which is actually like a 3D remodeling of the first Green Hill level. And it's made so that we, there, there's a ton of different paths that you can take. I'm taking the high path just because I like the high path. Um, um, but you can do uh, a bunch of different paths. Now, when you say you have to get all 180 emblems, you mean you have to get all A ranks, right? You have to get all A ranks because getting all A ranks nets you several emblems. Oh, right, right. So if you don't get all A ranks, you can't get some of the emblems. So it does require that you get all A ranks. You you had my hopes up there for a minute because I had forgotten whether or not you actually needed all A ranks. No, you do need all A ranks. <sighs> Poo. But yeah, there's like this little path here, that little path. It's just if if I've literally played this level like almost a dozen times, and I've come up with a different path almost every time. Well, um, it's also extremely hard to A rank. Like I think I've only A ranked it maybe once. Uh, the secret is in the invincibility because it doubles your score. Yeah. And yeah, I can only get a C rank, but <laughs> that was just showing off all the bonus content that you can do when you've beaten the game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that, that's pretty Enemy much LP. all there is. Adventure two. Wasn't that anticlimactic? That was amazingly fun. Okay, bye. <laughs>